I'm holding in my hand a not quite fully developed American elm seed. And unbelievably, it is not till this year that Steve and I have actually started paying attention to how early American elms flower and set seed. How this happens, I don't know. <laughs> See observation, it's critical. And so I looked up American elm and even though it's impacted and ultimately dies from Dutch elm disease, it's able to get old enough to set seed. And as soon as the buds start swelling, which I've read can be in February here, the gray squirrels and the fox squirrels start feeding on them. And then they start eating the seeds. And if these trees overhang water areas where wood ducks live, the wood ducks also eat these seeds. And small rodents love the seeds. And deer and groundhogs love the leaves. <laughs> and I'm just, wow, 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 how did I not know all of this? Elm has been one of those trees that we know, we love, and we haven't paid as much attention to as we should because we know that Dutch elm eventually kills the tree. And so then we somehow lessened the value of this super important plant. And so seeing these seeds come on so early in the year is eye-opening. I mean, once again, the world offers us a lesson and just says, open your eyes, look around, get your nose out of a book, get your nose out of a phone and look and see what's happening. And so right over here in this tiny little fence row, there are some young elms and you're not gonna probably be able to see it in this lighting, but there are seeds hanging on there. And today, they have my total respect because they are playing a critical role in this ecosystem. So go American Elm. I really, really like you a lot. And everybody to see elms, uh, they've got kind of a, I mean, they're abundant and they've got corky bark and they're pretty fun. You can tell American and slippery by picking off a little piece of bark. And American is striped red and white and slippery is just red inside. Pretty cool way to tell the difference and they're alternate buds. You can look it up online, but pay attention to the wildlife with elms. I know I am now.